right, so welcome to another Sea Chest production vlog. My name is Jesse Bourne and I'm in the box office today joined by Josh. And today we're working on Sea Chest. We're specifically working on uh, the final assembly and getting everything to work smoothly before we put the finish on and ship it out to you guys. This is a couple of shells we just set up and uh, it's really nice to be able to see all the numbers on the boxes. And the deal is we just want to keep working on the ones that uh you know the oldest boxes because sometimes they get a little mixed up when they come off the machine but anyways we had seven boxes lined up here and we're gonna finish all seven today right josh we should sometimes people will avoid boxes that are troublesome and have problems so why 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 do you prefer going with the newer boxes because the newer ones have less problems mm. because we're refining the process. ah this one's all done, just waiting for the finish now. So that's our first product for today. Then this one's just being clamped up here, clamping this little piece on there. And then that one's gonna be all ready for finish. And then I'm gonna move on to this one. So we got three, Josh is working on number four. And there's three more up here. So if we could finish all these today, that would be nice because they've got so much work into them. They're so close, they just need to last. 15% to go. So really this piece needs to be glued on the end here, but obviously it's too big, which is better than being too small by, by a lot. I mean, that comes off the CNC like that. And these aren't always gonna be exactly right, so we'd like to trim it right to size so it fits perfectly. And we'll do that right here. Turn this on, slide it up right to the blade, zero it out, you can lock it down there if you want. Decide how much you need to take off. We just looked it out on the part. I'm gonna say like, 20 thousandths or so. So I'll move in 20. It may be more than that, but I don't want to go too far. Lift this up. We'll see if it fits. And it is just about perfect. Now the only thing difference that I would do instead is I like to actually take a pair of calipers and I measure that because why not? Because you can just measure that and then you can set up this thing perfect to whatever the measurement comes out to. And another thing that I like to do often is uh, check the other side with that same part. If they're the exact same distance, then you're good. This one's a little bit better, so this one just needs a little less trimmed off. So we can go back it off by that. All right, and that one's pretty good too. So those two pieces should go in there nicely. So now those are all set up and we use uh, type on three wood glue which is a super strong wood glue and uh, it t it's got a long setup time it doesn't just harden instantly so we can clamp it in there and fit it in there exactly where we want it we also keep a couple bottles of super glue here just for like really small stuff when we need to tack stuff on so what I've been doing is putting in this border around the ship carving. So this is Hollywood. It's uh, super bright white wood. And the idea is that we want it to look like ivory inlaid into this box. So the way to finish it to give off that uh, appearance is to just use some really high grit sandpaper. This is like 1500 grit. And it's super, super fine so that we polish this wood and bring it up to a very high luster so that it looks like it's just been worn in for just hundreds of years and it's just got that really smooth shine to it and the corners are just barely round <laughs> also the the uh the ship carving itself kind of looks like brass when it's finished so i don't think it hurt to hit that with some with some 1500 grit but the rest of this is just all rugged wood which is fine because it's supposed to look like a an old ship Okay, well, we got to the end of the day and we basically met our goal. Pretty much. Pretty much. We pretty much got seven boxes done. Looking really pretty nice. So there's just a few little things we have to kind of finish up on them. Um, you know, I just gotta go through and check them again just to make sure that everything's working nice one last time. And then I'll put the finish on and uh, we got seven boxes ready to go out just about today. So 
that was a really good day kind of pushed it at the end it's a little bit after six now so it was a long day what do you think josh but josh said which was really i'm really happy about uh that the boxes just keep getting better uh up here are a couple boxes that uh, I went through and I was getting ready to ship them out to customers, but they just don't work quite nicely So what I might do with those because I have a bunch of people asking for sea chests uh, Who don't who aren't gonna get one? <laughs> so I just I'll probably just sell these as like phantom boxes and You know, I just won't have I'll just blot out the number not have them as part of the official uh, limited edition, but then couple extra people can get a box and you know it won't be perfect but that's okay they'll be they'll be happy to get it anyway I think so uh, so you can look forward to that coming out once we're finished with the entire series oh yeah this is what we did today so you can use that Dremel and it's on a counterweight and it goes right back how cool is that same thing with this pulls out before there was such a mess of cords down here and look, it looks crazy right now. It looks crazy now before it was, it was a nightmare. Do you remember John? Okay. Howdy. The new uh, mantra is that we're working slow because we don't want to make any mistakes. We want to be very methodical. So I tell Everett to work slow because we're at a rate now where we're making the boxes at a decent Pace. So I don't care about the speed. I just want it to work slow, get everything made the way it should. And if we have any problems, we deal with them right now rather than fix it and just keep, you know, hodgepodging it. We just want everything to work exactly like it should. Josh said the boxes are way better, but there was even a couple things like how you position these little, uh, little frames here for the compass and how we position these pieces up top because these are just glued in so we just want to make sure that those get 100% uh, consistency and they're not off kilter you know they're not glued in wrong so so that I guess that pretty much wraps it up for today good progress we're gonna be shipping out these seven hopefully tomorrow we'll see so uh, Thanks for watching and we'll be back with more tips and more puzzle box next week. Stay tuned. See ya.